YouTube. This is a quick overview of my uh, BlackBerry Classic uh, in blue, as you can see here. I've had this phone for about six months now, and this video is just to share some of my thoughts and opinions and how I found using the device over that period of time. Um, just for a quick size comparison, the nearest thing I have to hand here is my iPod Touch, and this just kind of gives you a side by side comparison for any of you who do have an iPod Touch to see how what, what size the BlackBerry Classic is. It really is a nice size phone, especially for your pocket, one handed use. Um, with so many phones out nowadays that are just getting bigger and bigger, the BlackBerry Classic, uh, size wise, forgetting about the screen, um, the size of the phone itself I found very nice. Right, this is your simple swipe up gesture to unlock. And this is the home screen um, as you see it. And when we scroll to the right, uh, this is where the apps are kept or the app drawers. Um, just take a quick tour around the device before I continue. At the bottom is the micro USB, it's where the speakers are. Uh, this is where we insert our SIM and micro SD cards. Um, on the top here with the headphone jack, uh, double speaker or double microphones for nice cancellation and the power lock button. And to the size then with the volume rockers and mute key. And just regarding the speakers at the bottom, one is actually a microphone and one is a speaker. So it's just stereo speaker, but it gives a good sound in terms of um, voice calls that are in loudspeaker, absolutely no problems. Um, the phone itself is spec very similar to the uh, old uh, Q10, um, but responsive wise, I find it no problem. Uh, to the left here, we have the hub. This is, will contain all your messages from Facebook, WhatsApp. I've really set up for email at the moment, but it, it can hold everything. And I find it very handy to hold everything. Uh, especially with a load of email accounts you have attachments in as a quick tab as you see here not in this at the moment but normally you would see a, a number of attachments there and then for quick actions you can quickly flag or delete your emails and go through them. something you want to look at later if you want to delete one a uh, very handy feature for quickly going through emails um, another very handy feature i found is that when you flag those emails that you want to if you want to do tasks on those emails later on you can go into the uh, blackberry remember app which is found here and now this is the app I use the whole time, but inside here you can have a folder called flag messages and every email you flag will be sent straight to here and you can go through them one by one and if there's any um, tasks you want to perform on that email or any notes you want to take to keep track of what you're doing with specific emails, um, depending on the type of job you have, a very handy feature. I also use that for just general work tasks as well. Um, so far, six months in, I've enjoyed using the phone. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at Google Maps here. Uh, works perfect on the on the uh, BlackBerry Classic. Uh, I found no problems using it. Navigation works fine. Search for directions. Um, now you can't save you know previous save location. I think that might be an issue there. But in terms of just using it for navigation or to look up a location, absolutely no problem. Uh, next up, we will look at the browser. Just again, just very quickly, open it up. Browser is fast opens up quickly, no problems for searching. Screen now is a little bit small, it's a three and a half inch square uh, touch screen, but absolutely fine if screen real estate is not a huge issue for you. Um, the, the general use of the phone is very fluid, um, no problems there. I've downloaded many apps using the, uh, Snap, um, the Snap app that you can sideload onto the phone. It gives you access to the Google Play Store. Um, no problems, you know, with the ones I need, I use Spotify, I use local banking, local transport, Google Maps, no problem there. Um, another, I know that other phones have file manager, but I find the file manager on the BlackBerry Passport very, very good indeed. Um, you hook it up to your OneDrive, um, and if you need to, what I do a lot of work is transfer files from my phone, such as taking pictures of, of um, whatever we were looking at, and then transferring those up onto OneDrive onto work folder so that they're accessible anywhere. And so you just if you want to move a folder, simply highlight it, click move, uh, back to your left where you select where you want it to go, back into OneDrive, and then you can just click the move button on the top right hand corner. But in terms of moving files around, using the file manager, integrated with things like OneDrive, uses Dropbox as well and things like that. Very, very good. Overall, I've thoroughly enjoyed using this phone. Um, multimedia wise is fine, watch some YouTube videos, you can install Netflix on it, again the screen size is going to be small but if, if you're stuck and want a bit of entertainment it's fine. Uh, this is the dial pad you see here, um, in terms of call quality, you know the basics of the phone in terms of email call quality, loudspeaker, things like that, um, I'm very very impressed and very happy with my six months using this phone. Um, I use my iPod as well, you know, for getting apps and things like that that they may not have here. Um, quick searches I've just done there showing 
to get up a calendar and, and quick actions where you search calendar, you can hit enter, bring up a, to add a new calendar event as we see here in front of us. And then it's just a matter of adding in you know, subject, location, participants, things like that. Uh, it also has a uh, vice assistance, but I don't, uh, personally don't use that. I, I find the instant search, I'm just typing very good. The camera, uh, getting behind myself here, the camera um, is fine, 8 megapixel. It's not on par with current high-end smartphones, but it does the job. I use it for work, taking pictures of, of, of products or, or, or things that I'm using that, that you know, photographs would be required. Absolutely no problem. Transfer to OneDrive into the work folder is always accessible. You know, it's quick, quick and easy sna uh, snapper. Just looking at the uh, universal search here again, where we're going to search for YouTube really quickly. And once I type it in the keyboard, it appears up top and you just tap an app. And it's that easy to search through the phone, be it for contacts, events, your calendar, apps, uh, tasks. And you've loaded tasks are grouped into different folders and they're identified by a certain unique number, which I use for work. Very easy to get through. And scrolling through YouTube here, as you can see, very easy. You have this little mouse pad that look, you know, that operates like a mouse for getting those hard to reach uh, links. And we simply close the apps by clicking the uh, back button. And as I said, very fluid. You can fly through the OS very easy. Um, absolutely no problems using the phone over six months. Uh, as I said, it's not the fastest software in the world, but it is adequate uh, for, for what we have here. Um, one of the main features or best features of the BlackBerry OS is the multitasking. It's where you can hop between different open apps with qu quick swipe gestures or by using the trackpad as I'm using here. Uh, works very well um, and one of the reasons why I stay with the uh, BlackBerry OS just in terms of going from your file manager back into your emails, checking your BlackBerry Remember, opening the web browser and you know going back and forth. It really is a lot more fluid I find than using it on iOS or on Android. Um, it's a Spotify app again which works absolutely fine. Use my playlist, can log in no problem. A bit slower all right some of these Google apps than the um, Android counterpart but um, very usable all the same. Um, I said, as you can see here, it shows notification for a new uh, WhatsApp message that just came in. Um, so it notifies you new messages that come in. You get um, notifications very well. Um, just a quick tour then around the back of the device. Uh, good grip uh, on the back. I, I wear the device like this. I don't have any case in it and I haven't dropped it yet uh, within six months. Uh, overall, I'm happy with the device. Um, here are just some close-up shots of the device from different angles. In terms of some of the specifications, it's 720 by 720 resolution on the screen, which is 294 PPI. It's a three and a half inch square touchscreen. It has a 1.5 gigahertz dual, uh, dual core uh, processor, uh, 128, um, sorry, takes up to 128 gigs of removable storage, but comes with 16 gigabytes internal. Um, one final important feature to mention this phone is the keyboard itself. I have found using it amazing and is easily the best physical keyboard I've used on a phone. Uh, it makes interacting with the phone, typing, doing up emails so much better. I would equate it to typing on a cloud. If you've never done it, buy a BlackBerry Classic and you will be doing it. Um, very, very impressed with the keyboard. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. All are welcome. Thank you very much, YouTube.